guys, you're back with Arbiter. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, hover drive controllers. We touched upon this the other day and I'm going to just go into a bit more detail and a bit more practical of an implication of what you can have. So obviously when you're making a teleporter of sorts you need to have a destination. So this is what we're going to build first. I'm just going to weld this one by one to the floor and then obviously you need to output the, dis uh, the coordinates of this platform. So I'm going to add a GPS. Now, what you could do, if you want to be sneaky, is to just read those values and write them all into a constant value and then feed those through. But obviously I'm not going to do that because I want to be able to have a bit more flexibility with this. So I'm going to spawn a radio. And the radio is going to have three values. All three values are going to be on channel one and secure or not. It doesn't really matter because I'm the only person playing. So, <coughs> I'm going to... But, sorry. Um, with the Z coordinate, the teleporter is obviously going to spawn directly inside this GPS because the GPS is put output in the coordinates of, th of, of the GPS. So I need to be above it or below it, and I'm going to choose to be above it. So I'm going to spawn an add gate right there, and then I'm going to spawn a constant value of 50. And that means that when I wire this up, so the first value is X, the second value is Y. And the third value is this add gate, and the add gate is going to be the Z plus 50. So it's outputting the GPS coordinates there, and it's adding 50 to the Z. So I'll just freeze that in place, weld it to the floor, <coughs> and then go somewhere else on the map to build my teleporter. Um, this is Stargate mod. If you don't have it, you should get it just simple as that. <coughs> Obviously this is a bit cheating since I'm showing you how to make a teleport tutorial but either way that's pointless. Um, right. um, first of all to build the platform I'm just going to make a, myself a little little platform there. Um, I'm going to stick some hover balls on it so that it floats. Um, it, assuming you're not going to be actually flying this platform about I would whack the air resistance right up so that it doesn't fly about or fly off into the distance. I mean, I can push that fairly easily, but it stops. Um, secondly, I'm going to spawn a seat. I'll have... Where? There it is. I'll have a car seat, like that. <coughs> and I'll just easy weld that to my vehicle. Obviously, it doesn't matter which direction the seat faces because it's not like you need to be looking where you're going most of the time. Right. Secondly, you want to want your hover drive controller. This is the actual teleporting device. And I'm just going to easy weld that on the side there. Like that. <coughs> so, ultimately this is what you're going to have, but I need a radio, obviously, to receive coordinates. I'm going to stick that on the front there. And I'm going to want some way to control the teleport, so I'm going to put a pod controller down as well. And I'm going to stick that there. Link that up. Right. <coughs> so first of all, I'm going to set um, the jump button. I'm going to wire that to shift, I think. There we go. And then I'm going to have to wire up the X, Y, and Z coordinates to the radio. So X is on output 1, Y is on output 2... What? Just a second, sorry. Right. For some reason it's not it's picking up the radio. So X is output 1, Y is output 2, and Z is still output 3. Because that's what's being sent from the destination. Now, obviously, if I were to unfreeze this and climb aboard, as soon as I press Shift, it should... Ah, there we go. It's teleported me to my destination there. I may have needed. I may need to increase the uh, that size a bit just to make sure it hovers above. So let's say a hundred. There we go. And if I was to do it again, there I'm above. I'm above the platform I made before. Anyway, so that's that. What I am going to do now is sh is add a bit more onto this. <coughs> something I like to do on space build most of the time because it means I can travel from planet to planet 
I'm go oh, nearly forgot. I'm going to duplicate this platform here. And this is this is quite the beauty of this. So I'm gonna I'm now at Pyramid, which is th that's the city I was in just there. I'm gonna spawn this again. But instead of I'm going to go into the radio and change the settings from channel one to channel two. So it's now transmitting the coordinates on channel two of the same of output there. So now if I go back to the city, uh, city, is it wrong? <coughs> so now I've got two different dist I've got two different destinations, and obviously the radio on. Oh, I've just killed myself. Oh, I was clever. Well, oh, stupid start. Stargates can have a tendency to kill you every now and again. Nothing serious. I'm getting quite a bit of lag as well. I guess that's probably the new map. But um, the, the whole reason I want a new map, by the way, which is um, Free Space 08, is just to demonstrate different locations, because on flat grass it can be a bit difficult. Anyway, so this is what we have now. Now I'm going to put in a screen, and the screen is going to say Channel. Just so, oh, a bit big, just so I know which channel I'm currently on. <coughs> and it, so I'm just going to easy weld that to my vehicle. Just so I can see that. And now, <coughs> now that's been welded. <coughs> Sorry about the coffin, everybody. Um, Right, if you look at the radio, you can see that besides the three inputs it has, it also has an input that says channel, and this selects which channel it is on, which means that you can change the channel it's on, which is understandable. So, first of all, I'm going to whack an accumulator down. Now, this, and then a round gate, because obviously accumulators don't put to whole values. So if I, if I put a round gate down, they'll become whole numbers. Sorry, I had to clear my throat there. <laughs> right, now, obviously, we want to be able to cycle up channels, but also down them. So, since the pod controller has only outputs of 1 and 0, I'm going to put an add gate down to account for two values, and then a negate, sort of like the vehicle made the other day. So, there we have, I'm going to wire um, add up to W, and the negate up to... S for forward and backwards, but in this case it's up and down, and then B up to the negate, and then it's, in, it's going to accumulate the add gate, and the round gate will round the accumulator, and then we're going to wire the, the channel up to the round, and the channel on the radio to the round gate. So at the moment the radio is on channel 0, and as you can see, it's not getting any information, which makes sense. <coughs> and just for ease sake, I'm also going to wire up the reset on the accumulator to R on the pod controller. So, everything messed up a bit there. Anyway, <coughs> so now if I was to hold W, you can see the channel starts going up to wherever. But if I was to press S, it'll go down. If I was to press W again and then press R, it just resets to zero. So, we know that channel 1 is that destination there, so press shift, there we go, we're above that, but we know that channel 2 is over there somewhere, and if we press shift, we're there now. And that, you can, the beauty of this is, you can just have that little device, <coughs> and you can just duplicate this, just even normal duplicator or advanced duplicator if you want to save it, and you can just spawn it somewhere else, and then all you have to do is change the channel of the radio to say channel 3, or 4, I've just put that on 4, just, and you can do it in channel 4, and then you can just get in this and put it up to whatever va whatever channel you want, and you'll go there. And that's just the beauty of this, is that you can spawn as many of these little tiny little platforms as you like, you can even make them invisible or no collidable, and then you can go wherever you like with, oh, killed myself, that was a good end of the video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.